I'm Dave Yeske, and I'm here to share with you the story of a little experiment we conducted testing the wisdom of crowds. In his 2004 book, The Wisdom of Crowds, James Sirwicky explored the many situations in which the collective wisdom of a group surpasses that of even its smartest individual members. Sirwicky opens the book with an example that was reported by statistician Sir Francis Galton in 2000, pardon me, in 1906. Galton was attending a county fair and observed a weight guessing lottery in which fairgoers were invited to guess the weight of a dressed and butchered ox. About 800 people participated, with the person producing the closest guess winning a prize. Galton managed to talk the promoter into giving him the jar full of everyone's guesses, which he proceeded to analyze. What he found was that the average of all the guesses was within one pound of the actual weight of 1,198 pounds, which was far closer than the actual winning guess. Now, we believe this same wisdom of crowds manifests itself in the economy as a whole and stock markets in particular. The many guesses, if you will, of stock market investors all arriving with their non-overlapping bits of information push prices up and down to arrive at a consensus price representing the collective wisdom of the market. It's been shown time and again that this consensus price is more likely to be right than the best judgment of any given individual. Which brings us to the little experiment we mentioned at the outset, one that we conducted at one of our office client events. We filled a large container with M&Ms and invited our attendees to submit a guess as to the true number contained in, contained in the jar. Many of the attendees participated, contributing guesses using various methodologies. Some Googled the weight of a pound of M&Ms and then tried to estimate the weight of our collection minus the weight of the container itself. Others tried to estimate the width and height in units of M&Ms and multiply their way to an answer. Still others seemingly plucked a number out of thin air. All in all, we managed to collect 24 estimates of the total number. An analysis of those estimates showed that they ranged widely from a low of 700 to a high of over 6,000. The average of those wide-ranging guesses was 2,137, while the actual number was 2,133, which missed the mark by a mere four M&Ms, which What's really amazing about this is that it took just 24 guesses to converge on a point that close to the actual. Which leads us to a somewhat unexpected result that we found. Below is another graphical representation of the guesses that were made, with the red bar showing the closest individual guess. That closest guess was exactly correct at 2133, which led us to ask, is there true skill in M&M counting? Well, to seek an answer, we had a conversation with our very own Jennifer Michelli, one of Yeski Bowie's associate financial planners. It was Jennifer who was responsible for this amazing feat. Here was her scientific approach. She thought the number might be around 2,000. But she doesn't like zeros, so she made it with 2,100. Her favorite number is 3, but she didn't guess 2,130 because, again, she doesn't like zeros. So she doubled that to make it 2,133. Uh, not a methodology that we think is uh, likely to be very useful in very many other settings, even another guesstimate of, of M&Ms. Now, in the same way, there are always so many people worldwide actively picking stocks that someone somewhere is guessing right, whatever their methodology. It's replicability that matters, and every systematic study of so-called persistence among successful stock pickers shows that today's success is no predictor of tomorrow's. Thank you for spending a few minutes with us. We hope you'll visit us online at www.yebu.com where you'll find many articles on topics related to financial planning, investing, and the economy.